Hey everyone, we gotta talk about a situation with Nintendo. Uh, you guys know we do a lot of positive coverage and, and a lot of news, um, a lot of hype, especially when it comes to things Nintendo's doing, like Zelda games in particular. I'm a huge Zelda game guy. But today we get to talk about uh, their digital policy. The, this has really become a topic of conversation in general across the industry. Uh, thanks in part to things like, hey, Sony today confirming that, hey, PlayStation 3, Vita, and uh, PSP are going to have their digital store shut down for new purchases uh, in July of this year, although they're going to let you still download games you've already purchased past that date. Um, no idea if and when they plan to ever stop that. Obviously, consumers mad because they can't like buy a secondhand Vita next year and be able to just buy whatever they want, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, we're not here to talk about that story. I'm actually here to talk about something that happened with a customer who was trying to get a deal uh, using Nintendo's own coupon system uh, for Nintendo Switch. Now, before I get into it, I will remind you, we do have our giveaway for this month going on right now. Uh, still a couple days left to enter. Head down to the description or the pinned comment because we're giving away a $100 Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, or Steam, or Epic Game Store, or whichever... Uh, pathway on uh, pc you prefer uh gift card we're also giving away a copy of monster hunter rise and also two additional 20 dollars nintendo switch xbox playstation steam etc gift cards so uh, again four total winners kind of a convoluted thing i probably won't make it this convoluted next time uh but thank you guys so much for entering and i wish all of you guys luck also by the way big thing here if we can somehow hit 70 000 subscribers let's say Oh, let's be let's let's give a more realistic date. Let's say by the end of April, I will give away a Nintendo Switch. So there you go. All right, let's get into it. So uh, this person, a user on Reddit called Stool, um, he tried to do something that turned out you're not able to do, and then he also wasn't able to really get a refund for it, which goes against some laws. So here is his story, and I will read it verbatim. On Friday, I bought the two-game coupon on Switch in order to buy Monster Hunter Rise because it looks amazing. Immediately, I had to realize that Monster Hunter cannot be bought with those coupons. Upon realizing that mistake, I wanted to return the coupon to buy the game for store credit. You know, or just a total refund, either way, right? Within eight minutes of the purchase. So this was pretty much immediately he realized, oh crap, I can't actually get it. And of course, the coupon he's talking about is, you know, that coupon that they used to have in the U.S. for a little bit, and they still have it in some other countries, where like it's like a hundred bucks USD in this case. You can get, you know, you can buy two AAA Nintendo games that are sixty bucks a pop. It includes most of the Switch exclusives. However, Monster Hunter is not made by Nintendo or published by them, so that could be why um, it's not included. Either way. Let's get into what happened. The mail confirmation for the sale mentioned a refund for the vouchers without giving any reason, which is currently the law, right? That is the law in the countries he's in, is that you don't need a reason for a digital refund. You are supposed to be able to get a refund within two weeks. That's what the email said, all right? Again, it's in line with European consumer protection law. However, customer support said it is not possible and referred me to the following page which is a support page on the tender.co.uk that talks about the cancellation policy for digital purchases uh that support policy says what is the cancellation policy for digital purchases all sales including pre-orders are final please be sure that you meet all of these download requirements for your game before you place the order there is no cancellation policy europe says you need at least cancellation for any reason within two weeks Nintendo saying, nope, directly violating European law. That's an issue we'll get into in a moment. Honestly, that is not as much of a cancellation policy as it is customer abuse. Not only does it clash with customer protection legislation, it even clashes with the mails Nintendo sent out to confirm your sales. In comparison, increasing my store credit did not, re did not have a refund clause. So what he's saying here is he added money to his Nintendo account uh, to, to, to increase his, you know, you know, available currency to buy games. And there was no refund clause emailed to him about that. However, in the case of buying these coupons, there was an email that said, hey, you can get a refund. Um, very interesting because technically he will get his money back eventually. 
To specify certain customer rights are limited in digital sales, in particular when it comes to downloadable goods and services, which Nintendo seems to claim here. However, these coupons are not. Neither can I download, copy, or replicate these coupons, the initial argument against consumer protections, nor is it an ongoing service I retain. Is there any reason to mess with customers like that? It essentially is a different version of store credit. Basically, according to legislation, if the coupons expire... I should get the credit anyways. Or is Nintendo ignoring this part of the legislation as well? So what European law basically says, if you spend money on a coupon, but then you end up not using that coupon and it reaches a certain expiration date and can no longer be used, the company is supposed to give you a refund on that coupon. Of course, Nintendo's also not giving him the refund that their email and European legislation says he's supposed to get in the first two weeks uh, for any reason. Doesn't need to be specifically um, because, you know, my, my kid went on here and bought whatever. It, it literally could be for whatever reason. Uh, they're already not honoring that. What makes you think they're going to honor, obviously, the law that says, hey, look, if and when this coupon expires, which it will expire someday, give me my money back. I, I honestly find this whole situation um, a bit convoluted in a way that doesn't need to be. Most digital storefronts have slowly figured this stuff out over time, figured out their refund policies, figured out their cancellation policies, uh, even things that fall outside of refund policies, um, you know, by law or whatever are oftentimes, you know, you'll see Sony, Microsoft, and other digital stores bend over backwards to do right by the customer because what's more important than what the actual policies are, are, well, obviously making sure the customer leaves satisfied because the customer made an honest mistake should the customer have done research before buying that coupon to realize monster hunter rise cannot be used with these two game coupons or you can't redeem it for that sure that's a fair argument but at the same point they should also be able to get a refund pretty much right away you can get a refund for literal physical goods on amazon uh sometimes without even having to send the product back you'll see um you'll get something that's like the wrong size right like you ordered a shirt turns out that it's too you know it's not big enough for you right or too small so you're like so you like hey i want to send this back and get a different size sometimes they'll just tell you hey keep that shirt and we'll just send you a new size because sometimes the cost to ship these items around and the hassle and paying the employee like it just ends up being a little bit too much of a hassle and too much of a cost versus just sending you a new product. Uh, so sometimes you get lucky that way where you actually end up getting free products. Sometimes you get total refunds and you get to keep the product. So I've had this happen on Amazon several times. Uh, so it's one of those situations where Nintendo needs to sort this out because technically this consumer could file a lawsuit. They could sue Nintendo and as long as he's got these interactions with customer support, you know, recorded in some way. So it's not just a he said, she said situation. Actual, real evidence that they said, hey, you can't get this refund, um, even though the email says you can, then, hey, that is a lawsuit waiting to happen. Now, would it get settled out of court? Probably like that. I would assume Nintendo would either just refund him his damn coupon like he wants, but it doesn't really address the overall point uh, and plus, the person has to be able to afford to, to do it. Like, the automatic response when, when something like this happens is, sue them to oblivion. But normal, everyday consumers, normal, everyday people, even normal, everyday content creators like me, can't afford to just go sue happy every time someone is technically breaking law and breaking their own policies in their own emails. Like, not everyone is able to do that. So, this is obviously... A sticking point where digital sales, especially with Nintendo, I think we can all admit Nintendo is behind the times with online. Are they getting better? I mean, in some ways. But in most ways, Nintendo's pretty far behind the eight ball when it comes to uh, online anything. So I just want to see this stuff get better. Uh, I hope this user ends up getting his money back and that we can all move on from the situation more knowledgeable. Anyways, folks, I am Nintendo RoboJazz from Nintendo Prime. I want to know your thoughts on this down in the comments below, and I will catch you in the next video.